All right. Well, I'll I'll, st- uh, I'll get started. I think uh, mid VC de- a dev will throw out uh, our announcement for today. So I know that I'm kind of doubling down on the same time that he uh, will push it. But I'm going to include those announcements in here because uh, that's going to you guys are going to know about it in a few minutes anyway. Um, oh, yeah. Juicy. So you- yeah, so you guys will get a little, little bit of alpha here. And like I, like we started last week, uh, I, I don't know if you were on the recording for it, Munz, but, um, but we did do, and I know last week we kind of rigged it so that Gwe had gotten her, her one of one, but um, we're down to like open up three chests and give them away to give whatever prizes come through to the people that attend this. So I'm still doing that. Uh, I'll, I'll give you guys more insight wow. to, the, to the random number. Uh, generation side too when we when we jump to it but i'll do that kind of at the end to to round out the space um and yeah whatever i get from a chest you know we'll we'll give to whoever gets picked so um hopefully that means we'll get more and more attendance to these uh in the future and you know if uh if people you know want to contribute any comments comments suggestions as we're talking you know i try to keep these fairly informal <laughs> and uh and yeah, so kind of looking forward to that. But yeah, so I got three chests ready to roll. Actually, should go back to the redeem page so that way they're set. And got another generator recording. Sounds good. Um, all right, so let's jump into it. So for this week, uh, I would say a little bit lighter on like the like major major announcements since we pushed out Boombox. There have been just like a bunch of quality of life updates for that, and you know, in general for um, for foxes. So now that we kind of have some of the bigger pushes out, um, you know, some of it is just kind of like making sure that they're good to go for a little while and, and kind of focus on, um, I want to say, a couple more like items that we have on Roadmap 2.0, and then I think we'll almost be wrapped up with that shortly, which would be pretty dope. And I can give a little bit of an update, too, on 3D Foxes, because I don't think I have that in here. So let me just jot that at the end. Um, just because there have been some developments with that. So, all right, so we'll start off. Uh, quality of life updates. Uh, you can buy den rooms directly on missions page for one-time use. I know it was, I want to say last week that we announced um, the ability, you'll be able to burn a den room token to count as a den for that mission. So they're one-time use. Um, it primarily kind of jump starts, you know, a little bit more of the consumables that, that we're thinking about and planning out for missions. Um, so you don't necessarily have to have that specific den, but that room only counts for one-time use. And it even put, we even put language in there that says, like, if you have a den, add the room to it, you know, instead if, if there's space in it. Um, and then the other caveat, too, is that you can't burn a unique room to count for any den, uh, we're just not allowing that currently, primarily because a unique den, a unique room essentially counts as like a one for one once it's attached to a den. So it just doesn't make much sense for someone to burn it for a one time use. And so Dev had disabled that primarily just in case people do it by accident, but also um, to really <laughs> not allow people to do it. Uh, Next thing, open serum accounts can be closed with TMI. Uh, I, I know that wasn't the case for a, a while. I think Dev enabled that uh, sometime between Tuesday and Wednesday. So if you have any open serum accounts, you can now close those through TMI. They do show up in there. Uh, your Fox level info is added to the den uh, metadata pop up. So if you're scrolling through your den where your foxes are, your residents, uh, you can click on a fox in there and it will show your level. Um, FoxySwap has a swap history and tip feature, uh, so if you're using that, you can check out the uh, the history and, and the ability to do uh, tipping in there as well. Uh, you can like tracks on Boombox, so there's like a little heart icon that you can click on that will like it, and it'll show how many people also like those individual tracks, just to essentially kind of show, you know, a little bit more love and support, you know, for folks that are creators, uh, you know, and I'll kind of give like a, a little short plug for Boombox. If you haven't had a chance to kind of check it out, I highly recommend it. There's a lot of talent on there. Um, you know, I know myself, I have to scrape up a little liquidity to, to kind of buy into some folks that are on there, but it's an awesome platform and 
you know, shout out to some foxes that are our creators on there as well and kind of pushing out that word. Um, you know, it's it's going to take some time. You know, I think that's the the one thing that, you know, we certainly recognize really in any market. Um, but it's super fun, UI super clean. And, like, as always, with, with any tool that, like, we're kind of involved in, um, you know, if you have comments, suggestions for, like, improving the experience, um, always feel free to let us know. And is there a question or comment? No, cool. Um, but yeah, we're we're always down, especially for constructive criticism. You know, for things that we just make it easier. Just because I think that's one of our stronger suits as a team at Foxes compared to others uh, in the space. Not to shit on anyone in spe specifically, but um, you know, we're definitely open to feedback, and capable of executing on it. So um, if the experience can be enhanced, uh, by all means, please let us know. And then one of the bigger integrations, actually, that, that took a little bit of uh, figuring out <laughs> is the Audius uh, profile. Uh, you can now link that under your profile. So you can now have, like, an Audius profile attached to, like, your Boombox profile within Boombox Marketplace. So if you go in there, it would just show up kind of like, um, I don't know, the easiest way of me kind of describing it is in... Magic Eden, if you're looking at a specific NFT that's uh, on the actual page for it, you could see like the token ID and the mint authority and, and the owner. Um, and next to that, it would have like four icons. You could pick on like Solana.fm, SoulScan, um, Explorer, uh, Solana Explorer. Um, it would look kind of like those icons next to like the profile, but it's got the Audius A. It's like the purplish, pinkish hue to it. So. Um, so if you're in Boombox on someone's profile, you can check out their Audius profile if they have it linked. And if you have a Boombox account and you have an Audius account, I highly recommend linking it in the uh, Boombox profile as well. So just want to do a quick short plug for that. Uh, since we're on Boombox, uh, might as well keep, keep rolling with it. Uh, there are the ability, um, the ability to... Uh, skip tracks uh, in your recently played. Uh, now you have that ability to do so. You can add artists uh, sections for listings. You have the ability for a Twitter share button for artists. And what that'll do is that will kind of pre-populate a tweet for you that has you know, the information and such uh, with regard to the person you're sharing about. Uh, and then you can just share it directly on Twitter. So kind of just created a way for you to be able to share it more easily, and I know we're planning on doing that as well for the chest rewards, so sometime in the not-so-distant future. It's not high up on the priority list, but just to make it easier to share chest rewards as well. But this is primarily for the artists and listings um, from Boombox. Uh, we did a little bit of an update for the artist bio, and then just a little bit of UI UX tweaks and added in some more uh, genres. So, you know, again, constructive criticism, if you guys see anything in there that you think we should change, update, add, um, let us know. You know, if it's low-hanging fruit, it might take us a while to get to, but if it's um, better items, you know, that we think could really enhance the experience, you know, we'll try and bump that up in the priority list for, uh, for updates. Uh, let me just double check and see if Dev has pushed announcements. Not yet. Cool. Then you guys get a little bit extra alpha. So uh, missions are live. Um, obviously, <laughs> if anyone hasn't uh, had a chance, they they should be live currently. Um, so if you want to, feel free to go through there. Uh, since that's, that's good alpha. <laughs> that's good alpha. <laughs> yeah, that's good alpha. That's exactly. Good alpha. Yeah. Um, but uh, one thing that is quite fun is that we we kind of hear some new foxes coming in um, that are talking, you know, about wanting to get like more into missions. You know, if they haven't been around for a while, um, you know, kind of trying to I'll say catch up if that's the best way of phrasing it. Uh, and we recognize that kind of as we go along, right? Like we're not we're not doing this as like seasons with how foxes level up and upgrades and all that kind of fun stuff. It's really kind of the whole history. Um, so having said that, fame-only missions, uh, we're going to bump up. 
Um, so previously, and by bump up, I mean the reward for fame-only missions were going to increase. Uh, it's still going to stay at a zero Fox level floor, um, but again, it's primarily just for people to kind of catch up, you know, with, with earning fame from them. So um, previously, without a den, uh, Famous Fox would get 240 uh, fame, and TFF would get uh, 60 fame from there. Um, we're bumping those up. So for an FFF it, by itself, no den will get 1,000 fame. Uh, with the den, it'll bump up 50%, so it'll be 1,500 fame. So it's pretty big. Um, you know, for, for a single fame only mission, but uh, as the levels kind of go up, like we're, we're, we're trying to figure out what's the best way of us to handle that kind of a system. It becomes complicated if we try to make it like a specific amount of fame based off of your level, just because there's technically 120 levels to it. So you'd have to have a very specific way of like grabbing that level you know, figuring out a multiplier or something like that, or just an adder and, and adding it to it. So we're kind of just seeing how this goes. We'll probably adjust them as we go along. But as it kind of stands, um, again, Famous Foxes, Fame Only will be a 1,000 Fame. With a Den, it'll be 1,500 Fame. And then for TFFs, uh, they'll get a quarter. So it'll be 250 Fame, just a TFF. And then a TFF with a Den will be a 375. So... Hopefully you guys like that. Uh, we'll kind of see how it goes. I know there have been people that have, um, I'll say, not, not taken advantage of. I think it's the way we really kind of envisioned it being used. But folks that go over Tier 1 and, like, upgrade their foxes and then, you know, are, are using our fame transfer to get, you know, other foxes up to level 40 and get them upgraded. I think that's, you know, part of the intention of why we kind of are building like that it, fame ecosystem in that way because we'd like all foxes eventually to get to tier one tier two tier three if they have the ability to do so so um so we're definitely listening and you know it might not be perfect you know feel free to to shit on it uh give us feedback however you want to go about it um sounds good to me and so keep an eye out for that again that will go out uh shortly um, I won't read through all the requirements for the missions. I think everyone in here can pop over and see what ones are available and what foxes you have, what foxes you don't. Um, yeah, I'd say the, the, one, the one that I think is probably the most difficult from a requirement standpoint is uh, the pineapple, uh, two pineapple foxes and a beach den. Uh, I think that's... <laughs> This is probably one of the one of the more difficult ones that we've done from a requirement standpoint, just because of uh, what it does require. It's quite specific, um, but yeah, missions missions are live, and hopefully you guys like the uh, the fame only update for that. Um, as far as chess rewards go, so this week, uh, the weekend, I should say, yesterday, we we put out the forebears in there. Uh, was there a question? I heard someone put audio. All right, uh, hearing none. Um, but, yes, we added in forebears. So it's not something that we plan to do every single week, but we've just had different opportunities come up, like, over the past couple of months um, where Project Lake would reach out and they'd be like, oh, you know, I think, like, the art collab is pretty popular right now. I think part of um, part of my concern with, like, stretching ourselves thin with just doing like a bunch of these art collabs. A lot of them do ask if, you know, the project on the other side can provide, you know, some utility to it. And we don't want to take away from like the utility of actual foxes more. Um, so it just becomes a little bit challenging. Like even with DJ and dummies, you know, we, we agreed that we put them in a mission. And so like, I think that worked out quite well, um, especially adding a little bit extra fame to it and what have you just kind of made a bit more sense to us but I think kind of like going forward we're going to be a little bit careful about how much we do that and don't do that I don't know if 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 there's like direct feedback I haven't heard any negatives so far with us doing anything like that but I just get worried if there's too many of these like art collabs that it kind of just becomes I don't know, not not as fun as it kind of could be so anyway Having said that, uh, Forebear is a bit different. So uh, 
Gossip Goblin and, and Expensive Goblin. Actually, Expensive was the one that reached out to us a long time ago, so I will apologize. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm not sure if they're in, in VC. I should actually check and see if you're in here, Expensive. Uh, I don't think so, but I'll apologize. But yeah, this was, was way back, probably maybe six weeks ago, something like that, where they were like, hey, you know, we'd like to offer out 25 forebears, you know, to you guys, do whatever you want with them, um, you know, from Gossip Goblin and the Goblin Labs, you know, community essentially. And we said, sure, like, yeah, we'll take them, we'll throw them in mission chests for, for fun and kind of go about that. Um, and they were down for it. So they sent us over, I think they sent us over 24, 25 forebears. And uh, yesterday was the day that we decided to add them to our chests, just based off of timing. Sorry, Dardis, I'm going to mute you real quick. All right, cool. Um, so, yeah, so we added in four bears yesterday. I'm not 100% sure, actually, how many tokens we have left. I'm going to guess they're quite low. I know the uh, the percentage rate that we put them in chests, our goal was really to try to get them out this weekend. So um, if there are any left, uh, it's, it's not many. And hold on to those tokens. Um, we kind of use a token as a placeholder to know where to airdrop the forebear. So if you want to move it from, you know, your Fox Mission um, wallet to a different wallet, like go nuts. Once they're all sent out, then we'll airdrop the forebears, the actual forebears, to those uh, people that had won those tokens. So I know there have been some questions around what to do with those tokens. Um, just hold on to them. And I think, once... uh, isn't the airdrop finished? Did they finish the airdrop? I know, I remember... Uh, I it, I uh, but either way. Yeah, yeah let me let me double-check. I'm not sure if we sent them out yet. Uh, yes, you're right. Yep, four bears are airdropped. So, yeah, to disregard... So then, technically, the uh, tokens that you have, those four bear tokens from missions, um, you can just burn those if you want and get the .002 soul um, back. And you do that via TMI or... Uh, however you'd like to, but those are worthless now. So don't don't buy any on secondary or anything like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully that kid didn't buy one on secondary. Um, and yeah, let's see here. So yeah, that, so four bears are sent out. Uh, we did launch, which I believe is wrapping up shortly. Let me double check. Uh, actually on Flip, because we have the Flip contest on there, if anybody is interested. Uh, let's see, let's see. It goes to the 21st. Yeah, so you got a couple more days. Uh, 1,600 UTC on the 21st. Uh, we've got 50 soul worth of prizes that we threw in there. Um, really the way to, to enter is you get a certain amount of, like, tickets. It's kind of like a raffle uh, based off of the whole value of soul that's flipped, uh, you know, it's up to you if you if you want to use the tool and try to get into that, but I figure I might as well throw it in here because we did include it in uh, in one of our announcements this week. But um, but yeah, so we're just hosting about a 50 soul raffle there, which should be quite fun for anyone that is involved. I think that's the main bit of updates that I had. Uh, I wanted to jump in and talk a little bit about like 3D foxes, so. This week, uh, we actually had some some good news, uh, and that is that we have the the full set of 3D foxes that are uh, rendered and rigged and such um, for. Uh, let's see, what's the easiest way of phrasing? For for so there's different ways of consuming like a 3D product. Um, and so when it comes down to what I'll say be, would be like our first. Uh, use for them, which would be like user-generated content by you guys, um, really kind of like downloading your foxes because these will be downloads as uh, FBXs or GLB files, I believe FBX. Um, and then anyone that is like kind of familiar in the 3D space, like if you want to export it in some fashion, I know there's like I think two different file types you could do for like 3D printing. Uh, you can import it. You can um, import it into, I think it's called Mixamo, and, and add some, like, animations to it and fun stuff like that, and then export that into, like, I think it's called Adobe Arrow. 
um, and, like, mess around and, like, AR with foxes and just, like, create, like, fun content for them. That's kind of going to be, I'll say, like, the bigger first push of what you can do with foxes. And, and we'll have more of this written out. This is kind of more so me just explaining to, to, to everyone that's here and anyone that listens to the recording kind of the plan, really, with 3D foxes. And so, like, that'll kind of be, like, the first initial push you know, I'm sure we'll do, you know, fun quest of things and, and get folks, uh, you know, active on um, kind of just sharing, like, that content and having fun with them. But those will will not be, like, specifically for metaverses. The way that metaverses will work is that, um, you know, it will require, you know, like a, a wallet connection and you having that fox. And, like, on the metaverse side, you know, we'll, we're going to be working with uh, – quite a few up front of just making sure we're able to get foxes in and that they look good. It's going to take a little bit of time for us getting those all finalized. Um, but it's just like a little bit of a different process. It's not like you take your FBX file that you have and import it into the metaverse. And the important distinction there too for folks is just to know that in the metaverse, like you'd have to own your fox in order to use it in that platform. There are like if you have like VR chat or something like that, like there are other ways that you can use the downloaded file and play around in those with it, but not specifically for like the metaverse that we're going for. It will be kind of, you know, token gated to you owning that fox for you being able to use that fox. And again, it's a complicated system because there's no one else that really has this done yet. Uh, I think we're technically the first uh, Solana NFT collection that has the full collection in rigged 3D model fashion that can be used, um, you know, like I'll say from like the consumer side. So we're just doing a little bit of quality control, making sure they're good to go, and then we'll have a push out for that shortly. Um, and then the, the metaverse, you know, we're working with teams on getting those integrated as well. And once those are completed, as they're completed, you know, we'll let folks know that you can go in and kind of check them out and mess around um, with the metaverses. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. I think I think we're going to be early, personally, um, from having, like, the foxes being ones you can use, which I think is going to be pretty solid for us from a um, marketing slash, you know, promo kind of standpoint to be able to use them in certain metaverses that hopefully will be quite popular. Um but I'm stoked. You know, it's 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 uh, it, it hasn't been a quick or easy process. I'd go back, and it, I think we've actually started, like, this whole process, I want to guess, like, in March, April-ish time frame, um, from just, like, getting the assets and getting them rigged and all that kind of fun stuff has just been a lengthy process. But my hope is that everyone will get get uh, get a lot of good usage out of them and, and have some fun with it. So I did want to kind of just throw a little bit out there as we had, you know, at least some uh, updates this week on 3D Foxes. So I'll kind of pause there. I think let me just double check everything that Dev threw in here. Oh, uh, I guess uh, as a, a good announcement bump, because I don't know why I didn't add it in here, uh, Questive. So every week we're planning on doing um, at least a theme Questive. Uh, so, you know, I, I am doing them Friday to Friday because Saturday you can claim your chest, so that way it kind of just lets people know beforehand that you can um, go in and complete your Questive. But uh, the way it works with Questive is they have, like, a time frame set up in there that you just create for claiming. And so we're doing, like, a week-long claim for the previous weeks. And then that in that same time period, you can also tweet out for the next um, quest of in there. So there's like an active live for submission and one in which you can claim your fame tokens. And if you're not familiar with Questive or you're not sure anything that I'm talking about, uh, the very last item that Dev put in our announcement, Questive is like a separate app that we, you know, we're working with their team on kind of creating these quests and. Uh, it's really just to kind of improve social engagement from our side, kind of let the, the, the crypto Twitter space know, you know, what foxes have been getting through uh, missions and all that kind of fun stuff, and at the same time, um, get rewarded for it. So we've been giving out um, a fame token. Uh, I think the last two weeks we've been giving out a fame token, so you get a thousand fame for whatever fox you want to use it on, or if you want to list it on token market, you know, we can't stop you from doing that, so... Um, whatever your preference is. The requirements for it is just to make sure that you 
Um, tweet at famous fox fed. Put in there hashtag FFF missions, and then um, put a screenshot of like what you had gotten from your chest rewards. Uh, there have been a couple of people that don't post screenshots, and then when I kind of look at history and check them out in Discord, I don't think they're a Fox owner, so like I've been rejecting those. Um, but for everyone else, I just go through it, and as long as it, it seems legit, and obviously I know all the popular names that are in here for you guys that um, are, are diligent with it, I accept them. So I did just want to throw that out there. I don't reject many, but I, I do reject a few just because... I think it kind of takes away from the point, and um, it's not really <laughs> it's not really why we create it. I'm not token gating this either. So Questive is cool. I could uh, they do have a way for you to token gate it. So you have to own like a famous fox or a transdimensional fox or a den to actually um, be eligible for getting the reward, which I think is pretty cool. But I just get worried with like connecting, you know, if it's a ledger that you keep your foxes on or something like that into another application. Like I'd prefer it to be a burner to interact with, you know, really any other platform besides ours. Um, so that's the only reason why I don't token gate it specifically for foxes. But I think it's been fun, and I've been seeing uh, quite a lot of people posting about it on Twitter. So that's pretty exciting. But I think that I think that really wraps up uh, everything that I had in here. I'll kind of open it up for questions, comments, if people want to chat about anything and then um if we get to a point that feels like the the room is dying then i'll i'll switch over and we'll we'll give out some rewards to some people and people can shit on me for using phantom still because i'm too lazy to switch everything over to soul flare i got a question what's up donnie hello drax how are you i'm doing good i'm very so I'm doing all right. About to um, log on to RuneScape and back to the grind. <laughs> but um, my question is, so have you guys thought about doing, like, um, for instance, say Halloween's coming up, and mm. I understand that Halloween is, like, more of, um, you, know, you know, an American holiday and whatnot, but have you guys talked about either, A, doing, like, how we do, like, the monthly auction, so doing a piece to... Uh, like commemorate the holiday so you know like october would be halloween you know november thanksgiving or whatever and or have you considered you know making those holiday specific traits like um you know say for october if you win the token you get like a pumpkin head that you could put on your fox for a trait instead of you know like the uh, typical tears yeah no i i i love it i love the question um personally i mean uh, I, we, we haven't put that much uh, energy into that concept yet. I know we've mentioned it before of, like, the possibility of having, I'll call them, like, costumes, uh, for, for lack of a better term. Um, but I've seen it be very popular in other discords to a different capacity that, that you can kind of, like, change out, you know, your, um, your outfit or something along those lines. I don't hold me to anything but i think we could do something fun for for halloween as a start and hopefully kind of evolve that into something a bit more cool so um nothing yet planned but let me let me add it to my list to make sure that i do because i do like the idea i think it'd be really cool i think more so too from like a history standpoint where you know you guys are here, right? And, and I look back actually on Clash of Clans because Clash of Clans was something that I was like pretty big in, um, I don't know, maybe five years ago. But uh, Clash of Clans had like the, I'll call them holiday type of events that happened, but primarily around different things that would pop up in your um, castle or what have you. And so there'd be like random items that would show up like a cauldron or like a coffin or something like that that you could only get like that specific year and every year it was something different so i think that'd be kind of cool where it's like you can unlock a specific kind of outfit you know for halloween maybe there's like like two different options right like something that people would kind of resonate with but you could only unlock them for say like the week after halloween or like a specific token that allows you to unlock them or something like that I think that'd be kind of cool. And, and I think, too, from, like, a history standpoint, you'd be like, oh, okay, 
you know, this person owned this fox and did a mission, you know, Halloween of 2022, you know, because you could tell based off of what that outfit was. Um, so I like I like that a lot. I'm I'm a big fan of um, history items like that. I mean, especially going back in RuneScape with party hats and all those Halloween hats and all that kind of fun stuff, which is quite a bit different. But um, yeah, let me put that on my list. I think. Thank you, mate. Sure. Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm curious. I don't know. Does anyone else have any opinions? I mean, you guys think that'd be something kind of cool, or would you guys would you guys change your fox outfit to something uh, more holiday themed? Yeah, I would. It's, it's, I think it's a good idea. All right, cool. I like it. Sounds fun. Yeah, I got. I have. A, I, have I, I would. Good. I have a question about. Um, I I don't know if you can talk about it yet. Sure. Uh, so Dev leaked something. Uh. Earlier, I'm not sure if you if you know. I'm not uh, gonna see what it is. I uh, did. Can you speak about that? I do know. Uh, yeah, sure. I could talk about it. So how did, how did that happen? So because that, that's that's I think I think that's a, that's a great marketing scheme. It's uh, I think it's gonna do very well. But yeah, get a lot of eyes on foxes and Solana in general. Yeah, a hundred percent. So um, so fall specifically talking about um a, a brave uh marketing that will be going out for foxes. So um, let me think about the best way I can put this. We were approached by Brave many, many, many moons ago. Um, I actually want to say we probably were approached by Brave in like December, January time frame. It, it might have even been like maybe in February um, about asking if, if Foxes like wanted to be part of like, you know, marketing on Brave's platform just because they have, uh, I think it's like 10 million users that use um, the, the Brave um, browser. Yeah. browser. And so at that point, like, it's expensive and we're like not necessarily like, you know, don't really know the market that's there. Obviously, like NFTs, especially on Solana, are quite new. So for for at that point it didn't really like kind of make much sense, but I think Brave themselves wanted to expand like their brand to kind of capture a bit of a different like market share over just your traditional you know browser user slash like I'll call them people like Coinbase holders and such, and so we kind of built up like a little bit of a relationship with them, and so we kind of have like an account rep and like fun stuff like that. Um, and like insight with their team and it was I think last month they reached out and they're like hey we want to see if you guys would integrate you know the brave wallet into your tools and we said sure um, and at the same time like you know they offered you know like a level of of having the um, Twitter spaces with the back community basic attention token which uh, was a couple weeks ago or might have been last week I you know, weeks go too quickly for me. And um, since then, you know, it kind of just became a thing where like, hey, you know, we really like what you guys are doing. Like the, the folks on the team for Brave, you know, own foxes or own dens and, you know, they kind of play around with what we have. I mean, they see that we have a bit more than, you know, I would say your 99.9% .9 of NFT really? collections that exist out there. And so um, they kind of offered us, you know, marketing space, which is kind of cool. And so, um, so yeah, so they've drafted up uh, a few different copies. I believe all of them will go live, you know, through their, their platform. Um, I know we'll post more about it as it comes out, but then we're also going to be in there um, September. Um, they, it's not a newsletter, like a press release that they put out there. So, um, so we'll have a little, little blurb on Foxes in there and kind of just like a little bit of a spotlight. But, yeah, I, I think it's huge. I think it's... Um, you know, a bunch of eyes that, that will kind of be on our project and to kind of sh highlight, you know, that NFTs do more than just, you know, be a, a JPEG. And, and I, I'm hopeful, um, you know, that it'll be positive for us. And, yeah, so there will be, I think there's four different, uh, four different like, marketing screenshot type pieces that you'll see. And, yep. uh, yeah, it's uh, it's... It's it's quite fun, you know, especially going back to like the the January February time frame when we were in talks with them, and you know us kind of knowing that it's you know might not fit for us like based off of pricing and all that stuff to kind of be where we're at now, which uh, is quite fun. 
Yeah. But, uh, yeah, let me see. I've got somebody chopping wood. Who the hell is airing up their tires? Yeah, guess, facts. Send it off, mate. I got him. I got him. <laughs> I'm going to say, it sounds like a, a woodcutter. I mean, I think even with the... Even in uh, December, in like November, February, like you said, that they approached you to begin with, I think is a is a good sign for a long time. Anyway, we have a uh, I'd say good good eyes on our project. Yeah, yeah, you know it, it's quite it's quite interesting. So to give like a little bit of insight, you know, from the foxes, um, there have been quite a few people that have contacted us that we've had to make sure that they're not scam accounts just because. We're like, how the hell do you know we exist? And also, why are you reaching out to us? You know what I mean? Like, it's 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 quite fun and interesting to kind of be a part of that on the other side. Um, and so, and Brave was one of them. You know, Brave had reached out to us, and we're like, all right, you're reaching out to us from this person that says Brave something. Yeah, you have a LinkedIn. We got it. But like, how how fake is this? How are we getting screwed here? Um, which has been quite fun, but yeah, completely agree with you, and it's it's pretty it's pretty neat to be a part of that, to be honest with you. Um, I sure. Yeah, but no, thanks for the question, and yeah, I'm, I'm more than happy to to comment. So, on that. Yeah. thank you for doing a uh, different time zone for VC because I've always wanted to join, but being in the UK, it always ends up being like 1 a.m. and I have to go to work on uh, Monday, so it never works out. Yeah, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to alternate weeks, um, and I I do post these up on YouTube. I, I I and I'll throw out there. I know last week I did a, a great job with it, and Gway didn't want to be voice docs, so I did cut Gway's audio out of it. But um, yep. the weeks before that, I know I I didn't capture the audience, um, and, and so I know the content probably was quite boring listening to myself just laugh and then someone <laughs> go dead for a while and then you know me comment on something so i apologize for those going forward i've got a good setup and i'm capturing audio on both sides so i'll throw it out there too if you say something you don't want you want me to remove it or whatever after just let me know i'm more than happy to like remove voice doxing if people want to um but yeah going forward i'll have these recorded and i try to get them out like the day after if i'm able to um, but if it's not up and someone really wants to check it out, just, just bug me enough and I'll make sure I move it up on my priority list. Um, but yeah, of course. And, and yeah, like I said, every other week I'll try to do 12 o'clock works for me, this like time frame here. So it'll be this, or I'll probably do like 8 PM next Sunday and then kind of alternate weeks if you guys are okay with that. Yeah, no, I think that's perfect. Cool. No, I, I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Any other questions, comments, suggestions, fun things you guys are doing today? I've got a ton of people in here. Jeez, this is great. You love to see it. Hey, you notice Foxy Devs here? Hello, mate. We know you don't want to uh, voice dogs, but it's nice to see you in here for a change. <laughs> he comes in here every once in a while to. He's to normally know. fast asleep. <laughs> He is normally fast asleep, and I'm surprised he's not asleep today, but, um, but yeah. He's always so mean to me, like, what did I do? <laughs> no, it's all love, mate. Love you too, Foxy Dev. He's not mean to you. All right, so let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and looks like we got 54 people in here, which is quite impressive. Um, oh, good question. Uh, before I switch over to my screen, actually, I probably can switch over to my screen regardless. Uh, question here is, are we doing anything for Fox's anniversary? Um, you didn't get muted, Expensive, actually. You have the Beard Gang, which is just dark. Um, yeah, so we have a few things um, in plans. We are going to put like a formal agenda together and get that shipped out. Um, most likely will be finalized by, let's say, in a week next Sunday, because uh, I know the first is going to come up quite quickly. Um, what I, and actually, let me think about this. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put more information about Wednesday because you'll have to know something for Wednesday for next Sunday. So we'll, we'll keep that in there. But, um, but yeah, main, main, main items, like kind of from a high level, uh, we're planning on doing at least two like half hour get together slash party type fun things in um, portals. Uh, I did purchase uh, an Onyx for us recently. It's not decorated yet. 
I know that's going to be on my priority list as the folks over at Portals 2 said they'll help us out with that. So we'll kind of bump that up as a priority for getting that squared away. Uh, we're planning on doing kind of different like giveaways um, throughout the day. We'll have kind of fun auction type things and basically just let, you know, let chaos ensue within Discord um, as that should be kind of fun. So we'll put together a formal agenda and we'll have that out um, for next next week that's like finalized. <laughs> Someone burn all the Captain Foxes. They're barely seen as PFPs. Uh, I don't think anyone's burnt all of them. I hope they haven't burnt all of them. But what I'll do is let me jump over and yeah, looks like we dropped down to 48. Are we down to 48 now? Hold on. How can I check this again? That worked so well before. I think we're at 48. But anyway, uh, what I'll do is I'll bump it to 50, and if 50 is wrong, then so be it. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do three chests here for those of you that are attending, um, and we'll grab uh, we'll grab picture people first. And then I'll go through and open up some chests. We'll give out some rewards, and you guys have some fun, and then we'll let you guys get re get ready for the rest of your Sunday uh, day, night, whatever location you're at. Um, we'll go from there, but yeah, let me jump to this section first. Um, there we go. Alright, first up, we got 33. That's easy enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, Moflex. Alright. Just jot that down. You are lucky number one. Six. That's also easy. That's going to be Alex. <laughs> All right, Alex Bert, number two. And who is number three? 42. All right, hopefully we have 42 in here. Wreck. Alright, Requiem, you're the bottom one. What's up with all these mods winning, mate? Well, this one's not rigged. That's completely random, so you could take it up with Requiem. Actually, you could take it up with random number generator, so you could take it up with. Also, we, we have a bunch of people in here. Number. What's that? I said for RuneScape, we call it the racist number generator. <laughs> That's not cool. Uh, alright, so let's see, heard my name, I think, yeah, you're number two, Alex, so, uh, so the first one here is for MoFlex, let's see what we get, Any background music, 750 Foxy, alright, MoFlex, 750 Foxy, alright, Alex, you're up next, let's see, that before I open up one, See, what are we thinking? Kidding wreck is the third wreck. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Alex, number two. Eight hundred Foxy. Alright. Let's see what wreck gets. High chance of Foxy. If he gets ten soul, <laughs> that that would be that'd be insane. Oh, that would fit with my luck. Ooh, high link shirt. Yep. There you go. Nice. <laughs> I had the other one, so this is perfect. Awesome. Good. Well, let's just throw that up in here. Thanks. It's kind of funny though that, uh, and I, I know obviously last week's was a bit different, but. Um, that's the third time is the charm, so I think whoever's in that third slot, you've got a, a lot to live up for. Which is quite funny. Alright, let's see. I'll, how do I DC my screen? There we go. Yeah, rigged. <laughs> no, that's funny. 
But um, yeah, that, that's another thing too I should mention. So for the folks, if anyone does have the Scum t-shirts, uh, we're still working with getting additional inventory for um, for those Scum shirts because I, I believe like, the more common sizes we're out of for both color editions. So just wanted to throw that out there that we are working on getting more inventory for that, but we haven't we haven't upped it yet. Uh, Rick got the high blank shirt. The shirts, are, the shirt is, are extra huge. Yeah, the yeah, other ones that are left, they are. Um, I want nothing as always. Yeah, but uh, but we'll we'll keep doing it. I mean, you know, if you guys are are here often, uh, you know, the, the odds will be in your favor. And I, you know, I, I plan on doing that every week. So, you know, if we've got what forty, we had fifty some people in here. So in theory, uh, one every you'll get you'll get your chance in give or take the 13 weeks, doesn't sound the best, um, or something more than that, 13 I guess would be 39, but still. Uh, any final questions, comments, suggestions before we uh, wrap up and kick you guys back to your Sunday? Kids merch. Our kids, kids need Fox merch. Kids merch. Kids merch is an interesting thing. Okay, so for for kids merch, um, only because I'm biased and I have uh, a 14 month old, are you thinking more so like kid shirts, like kid onesies? Well, oh, just so I have a general idea. I mean, I know it could be a, a wide range. Any thoughts? I think it should be like a shirt or a hoodie, you know, because I feel like if you get just a onesie, they'll outgrow it pretty quick. And not saying that like that's a bad thing, but like, for instance, if I was getting merch for my kid, I would, you know, want him to be able to wear it long term, you know, not just while they're growing. Yeah, no, I think that makes sense. Yeah, plushies, uh, Tina, I, 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 we've been talking back and forth on plushies. There's like decent minimum order quantities that were kind of iffy on and the pricing for them is uh, a little I think high um, so we're trying to figure out different options for doing plushies so I know I've talked to Vertle before and maybe I'll probably reach back out to her um, I know they have a crazy amount for minimum order quantity but the pricing could be better for that I'm just trying to figure out what would make the most sense for people to actually buy them and I, I guess I kind of more so think about myself where I think for for plushies as it stands right now, I think their price point would be between like thirty five and fifty bucks for one, which I think is just a little a little high. But um, but we're trying to figure out a better solution for that. Do kids still use lunch boxes? Like a famous box lunch box would have slapped when I was in school, but I don't know if that's still a thing. Yeah, you gotta do what? Some stickers. You gotta do what? Stickers about it forever. Yeah, stickers, I was going to say, Brink, um, I have to talk with you. I, I know we're trying to, take, there was interest for a pack, but like a, a pin, stickers, and like a foxy coin um, to try to put something together like that. That would be, I'd say, on the, the cheaper side. But it could be kind of fun to have that too. But yeah, lunchbox might be interesting. Cause, I mean, even School adults bags. That. School bags. What's that? Backpacks. Backpacks? School bags, school bags. Yeah, and that then, you know, just falls yeah. in line with like patches and stickers. Mm -hmm. You can sell that and just put it on any clothing or any whatever. That's true. Patches might be a good idea too. Foxy fanny pack. Yeah, I was gonna say Foxy Mama would love that. Okay. <laughs> now you're just naming things that exist. Continue. <laughs> hey, that's what you do with merch, mate. It's she's, called brainstorming. Yeah, she's a fanny pack, Maxi. <laughs> <laughs> bibs bibs for babies <laughs> foxy diapers yo my, uh, our daughter has the funniest diapers where it's like um this is why we're late or something like it's just like written on the diaper which is hilarious um but that would be kind of funny if you had like little little quips foxy quips on there yeah we were just talking about like plushies slash uh like like fluffy toys um no foxy dog foxy dog food <laughs> just turn this into like a full on brand and just like sell it to Walmart and shit It'd be really funny and if you if you get your fox on it then you get a kickback of the royalties or something what about um a foxy death of cards you know so it's like 52 yeah. and then there's 
That would be nice. Get a rare rare fox on your card if you're lucky. I have to circle back. Let me see if I have in here. Um, I know I posted it before. Uh, let me see here. Let me see here. This one. So there was like a, a a little while ago, and I don't really know where they stand on it, but I can throw out like Loki Alpha. Um, we were approached by. I don't remember their specific name, but they're working with the the Saga phone um, for creating like uh, an app or like Solitaire or whatever that has um, different cards and such in it for their games. And so like they went out to different projects to see if each project could create like two cards to be implemented into the game for it. Um, I don't know where they stand on it, but we had master grade create uh, a couple of cards and i i said to master grade and that's why i had to rehash it with them but um i'd love to get like a full set of cards created and then that way we can get like a full deck made especially because i know there's a lot of poker people that play um and such and like i'd like to get like a decent like quality set like made i personally would own a few i'd give out some to friends um but yeah he's created two so far i'd like to get a full set done and then see if we can um, get those get those created as well because I think they'd be dope. <laughs> Poker Twitter group. Poker tw the Twitter would only be fifty people. I think we can still do some kind of a Discord or s some other kind of group that would work. Maybe a Telegram actually. Um, but we could throw however many people we want into it. But. Yeah, no, I think you guys have great great suggestions. <laughs> Foxy Poison. <laughs> Dev is such a troll, I love it. Um but yeah, no, I think I think patches uh would definitely would definitely work for a lot of different use cases. I mean we'll have to come up with some designs to use for patches, um, and see if we can get those created and allow you guys to buy into them. But I think that sounds good. I think we're I think we're we're getting to a point <laughs> a point that makes sense to end. Um, but by all means, uh, you know, feel free to like ping me with suggestions too. <laughs> all right, <laughs> that that I'm deleting. None of that. Um, <laughs> but um, but you know, I appreciate you guys coming out and 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 hanging out for you know about an hour. Um, like I said, the announcements went out uh, a little bit ago. And hope you guys have a good week and, you know, chat with you guys in the Discord. Feel free to send over comments, questions, suggestions, and we'll uh, keep you guys updated as new things come out. So have a good weekend and we'll talk soon.